ladies and gentlemen, John Alston. If you leave this venue and go back to your community, your family, your friends, from wherever you hail, and you are doing the same thing that you did before you got here, this will have been a waste of your time. Speaker and author John Alston has made more than 150 presentations each year for the last 20 years. He has provided tools to over 3 million people with which to meet life's challenges, adapt to change, and solve problems. Somebody once said to me, you are born and you die, and everything in between is negotiable. The only thing you have between birth and death is time. So how you use your time will define your life. With humor and the power of the story, John Alston explains how a person can obtain a better life filled with true contentment, financial success, and enduring relationships simply by determining what works and what doesn't work and how to break that addiction to what doesn't work. Repeat after me, what works, works. What doesn't work, doesn't work. Here's the clincher. Working hard at things that don't work will never make them work. It's like saying you want to drive from here to Brownsville, you get in your car, you figure out you're headed to Oklahoma, so you drive faster. Does that work? No. We have to find out what works, and that's what in part this is all about looking at what works. John Alston's motivational message to corporate managers at Spencer Gifts, Sarah Lee, General Electric, and many others has resulted in increased customer satisfaction, greater productivity, and higher profit potentials. His follow-up video and audio programs constantly reinforce his inspirational ideals. First, let's talk a little bit about reality. Facts of reality. Life is hard. That's right. All right, good. It's difficult. That's right. You struggle with it. You have your ups and your downs. You go up one step, back two sometimes. And one of the facts of reality, you will experience rain. It's going to rain sometimes, so get prepared for the rain. That's a fact of life. In observing all of these things about reality, I've also observed that one thing about reality, gravity works. Gravity will never let you down. You see, one of the things that happens, we come into the world, folks, and we are totally uninformed. There is no instruction book. I mean, you just get born. There's no instruction book tied on, is it Frank? Frank, Frank there's no note on your toe that says, here's how to operate Frank. And there was no book that said, Frank, here's how to operate in the world. No, what happened was, Frank, you came in and you had to figure things out, and then one of the first things you discovered was gravity. Boom. And so you learn that in order to get from A to B, you must learn how to do this. Now what is interesting about life, as soon as you do this, this is when you are most unstable. This is when you are most vulnerable to being knocked over, when you're about to fall down. But in order to get from A to B, you must do that. Now infants start out, babies start out, and they learn this, and they finally grasp and manage what is called equilibrium so they can do that. They may start out here, but gradually, what they do, they master it. And they know not to stay here too long. Because if you stay here too long, the longer you stay here, the more vulnerable you are. So as we get older, it doesn't change. If you're going to make a change in your life, you have to do this. And yes, you will be nervous. Yes, you will be frightened. Yes, there will be some anxiety. Get over it. Through his book Story Power and his guest appearances on Oprah Winfrey, his one-man PBS and TPN TV specials, John Alston has reached out to millions of his readers and viewers to show them how to use the power of their own personal stories to literally save their lives. We all have our own story and we live out our dramas. It can be based on our past experience, it can be based on what other people told us. There are a lot of things that keep us from moving ahead. But by and large, in my view, it's the story that you believe. And not only do we have a story, we create music to go with it, and we dance to the music.
We dance to the music of the story that we believe. I don't know about you, but my mother spent a lot of time trying to get me to dance a certain way. She spent a lot of, I mean, the scenario was all laid out, folks. The script was there. It says, first, what you do is you go to school and get a uh, education. And then what you do, you come out of school and you get yourself a job. And then you get married and you have kids, right? And then what you do for the rest of your life is get up, go to work, come home, go to bed. Five days a week, get up, go to work, come home, go to bed. Get up, go to work, come home, go to bed. Five days a week. Get up, go to work, come home, go to bed. Of course, if your mother, the dance is a little different. It's more like get up, go to work, come home, go to work, go to bed, right? If you want to change your life, change your mind. Go back and look at the story. Change the story. Remember what this is all about. This is about change. See, all it takes is one degree to get better. You don't have to remember everything you got here in this convention. Just get one thing. Work with the one thing. Put it together and practice it. Remember, facts in and of themselves don't change people. Skills and techniques don't change and you have to use them and apply them. And thinking alone doesn't do it. You've got to be willing to do the work. And sometimes it's hard and you will always be nervous going from A to B. But you will never get there unless you first do this. Easy? No. Impossible? No. Let's never confuse that which is hard with that which is impossible. All right?